Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at who and what is coming towards you in love and what can you expect next. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest for Sagittarius. All right, let's see what we have for Sagittarius. Sorry. Please tell you it's for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know regarding love? Who or what is coming towards them in love? Who or what is coming towards them? That's much. Okay. Let's see what we get here. The sun, okay. The devil, Capricorn energy, and the nine of pentacles reverse. So a little give and take here <laughs> with the sun and the devil. The sun could be a card about, I mean, typically, you know, the traditional uh, symbolism for the sun is like happiness, celebration, good news, right? But it, for me as a reader, it could also mean radiance, clarity, things being out in the open. Um, the devil is a card about restriction, temptation, um, unhealthy attachments, um, unhealthy habits. And the Nine of Pentacles reverse <clears throat> is a card about being attached to something, not being free, not being independent, not being secure. Your stability, your security um, is delayed or blocked. So we'll have to see what that's about. Um, in the near future, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, the Two of Cups. And the Moon Reverse, Pisces Energy. So I do feel like with the Sun and the Moon Reverse, when I have the Sun and the Moon Reverse, I think of like um, equals. Because when the Sun is reversed, this, when the Moon is reversed, the Sun is out. When the Sun is reversed, the Moon is out, if that makes sense. Anyways, let me not get into that. So some sort of reveal with the moon reverse um some sort of illusion that's being seen clearly something rising to the surface that was hidden um and i feel like it has to do with some sort of offer like these the knight of pentacles and the moon reverse are coming together um so some sort of opportunity here in terms of a partnership for you sagittarius i wanted to say leo there for a second hmm bottom of the deck and overall energy the page of cups reverse so this is disappointment um heartache um feeling a bit emotionally uh, blocked so we'll see what all of this is about let's get some clarity here for sagittarius Clarity and sight, please. Okay, so I'm going to use for Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Pisces, a Capricorn, but um, you could be dealing with other signs too. Those are just the two that happen to be on the board right now. So let's get some clarity for you. Find out what all of this is about. Let's start with the overall energy. Why the Page of Cups reverse? This could be recent disappointment, heartache, um, an offer that hasn't arrived, or you know, someone expressing their feelings is blocked in some way. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> Strength, Leo energy. I wanted to say Leo. Ace of Wands and the Seven of Wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, the Seven of Wands is somebody that's fighting against an obstacle, standing firm, rising to the challenge, you know, defending themselves. <clears throat> and then with strength, when I see them together, I think of someone that has courage. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm so sorry about my throat. I just can't seem to clear it. And I know wands at the bottom of the deck. I 
feel like someone could have hurt you or vice versa. There could have been words exchanged. Maybe you hurt each other. I feel like there's trust issues or just baggage now because of what's happened. Someone possibly is resistant to this page of cups and that's probably why it's reverse. But with the strength card, the seven of wands, and then the ace of wands, it's almost like someone's fighting for a new beginning, a new start. Despite the fact that this is, I feel, a block. The nine of wands. So let's keep clarifying here. Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? Six of Cups. Oh, I forgot to get some energy oracles. So this could be some sort of um, clarity about the past. Something from the past being seen clearly. News about the past. We'll have to see what that's about. The Two of Cups is here as well. So this could be a soulmate connection of some sort. Spirit, tell me more about what's going on for Sagittarius in love. What else do we need to know regarding love for Sagittarius? Budding romance. Romance is in the air. What else? Intense, profound, and earnest. Parting ways, the separation, divide, heartbreak. Can I get one more? Okay. Confident, self-assured, and creative, artistic, and clever. Bottom of the deck, we got the tower, unexpected event. So something has happened in this connection. I feel there was already a separation. Or you've experienced heartbreak and now there's new love coming in. I see both. I see both ways here. Um, intense, confident, creative. I feel like this is someone's like motivation or their, their approach to something. Um, they're very e uh, earnest and confident and also trying to be creative about how to approach whatever this budding romance is, whether it's someone new coming in and trying to win you or whether it's someone from the past coming in to start something new. I still see both ways. So let's keep clarifying here to see what else we get. Tell me about the sun. Can I get one more? One more energy for the sun. Justice, wow, Libra energy. So I think that there's something good that's that you can expect. Um, it could be in the form of good news, something to celebrate, something being made right with justice, receiving something meant for you. Tell me about the devil. Ten of swords. Tell me about the devil. I feel there was an ending here, although I don't. I can't pick up so like up as of right now, um, because I still am gonna be clarifying, but I, I can't pick up if this is an X specifically, or if there's just, in general, some sort of ending that you've experienced in love already. Tell me about the devil. What do we need to know? The world, oh yeah, this is, and the death card at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio energy, I keep getting these messages for, all, for the other signs with death, and the world, like they usually are connected in some way or the fool. Um, there's some sort of like meaning, specific meaning about an ending leading to a new beginning. So I find it fascinating that we got the 10 of swords, the world and death. Behind that, the star, Aquarius energy, healing, renewal, faith, hope. So I feel like what you can expect in love is some sort of new cycle. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here? Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. You're receiving something new or being offered something. 
could be um, that there, you know, when I look at all these cards together, maybe an unhealthy attachment, an unhealthy dynamic um, has ended. And so you're being given something new. Um, this could also be that you're meeting a Capricorn, someone with Capricorn energy, and that it's something new is being received here from this individual. Okay, so what about this Nine of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Nine of Pentacles reverse? Page of Wands. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reverse? Eight of Wands. Okay. When I see these two cards together, I think someone taking action. Ten of Cups, another ten. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Okay, I feel like, um, interesting. Ten of Wands, okay. I, whoever, whoever's coming in or whoever you're dealing with, Sagittarius, I get the sense that they don't have, they're going to appear confident and assured, but I don't think they truly are. I think they are just very eager to communicate, to come forward, to have this Ten of Cups and to address a Ten of Wands. Now, again, I still get the sense that some of you, this is someone completely new coming in. You don't know this person. Um, they have come in after something has happened. Basically, we can put it, we can leave it there. Um, others of you, I feel like this is an ex. Like this is someone from the past who is has been thinking about you, the Hermit, Virgo energy, who has been thinking about you, planning, working on things, wanting to bring you this Ace of Pentacles, and they're dealing with a Ten of Wands. You know, there's some sort of baggage that already exists, some sort of obstacle. If this is someone new coming into your life, I feel like they also have some sort of baggage or obstacle. Maybe you both came out of difficult relationships or have bad experiences with past partners. But the Ten of Cups tells me that this is someone who has aspirations, goals. Um, and there's definitely a new cycle happening here. There's something new brewing. Um, a budding romance. Something new is being given to you. And the Knight of Pentacles kind of confirms it. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. What do we need to know about the Knight of Pentacles? Well, when I see the Knight of Pentacles or the Seven of Pentacles, I think of someone that was waiting a long time for this. Ace of Swords, another Ace. We got three Aces on the board so far. Can I get one more for the Knight of Pentacles? And the Three of Cups. So I feel like this is someone wanting to talk to you, make you an offer. Maybe you met this person through a friend. Maybe they want to talk to you at a party or a get together, or they just want to reunite, come together with you. Tell me about the two of cups. Why is the two of cups here? Judgment and the Five of Pentacles. There's the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Pentacles. I think that a lot of you, this is like a second chance at a Two of Cups. I think some of you have been feeling like a Five of Pentacles. You know, it's been difficult. You've struggled. Um, maybe you feel like you've been left behind when it comes to love. Or like, you know, you just can't win. Others of you that are dealing with the next, they definitely want to make things right because they're out in the cold right now and they want a second chance with you. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? Oh, wow, I got three. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the High Priestess. Um, Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone took their time coming to you. Someone really worried about this offer they're bringing, or they were really thinking about what to say. 
I think they kept how they really felt hidden. And with the moon reverse, this is going to be revealed to you. Tell me about the moon reverse. Why is the moon reverse? Why is the moon reverse? Three of wands, okay. Why is the moon reverse? Eight of swords. Yeah, I feel like someone was really like fearful and they held back. Tell me about the moon reverse. Why is the moon reverse here? Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Taurus energy, the Knight of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Five of Cups. Interesting. Some of you could have found out that this person that you were dealing with, there was an issue with another person or an issue with commitment. Maybe they weren't able to commit. Maybe they had someone else on the side. Maybe they had responsibilities. Maybe they cared too much about how people thought of them. Um, if this is someone new, like maybe you haven't met them yet, then I feel like they really were shackled by others' expectations. But then when they meet you, they think, I'm going to take a risk with Sagittarius anyway. Or maybe this was somebody that was never thinking they were ever going to commit to anybody, and that's obviously changing. Because there's definitely something coming in here. Page of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. So an offer of some sort that's very genuine. And with the Five of Cups and the Four of Swords here, I'm almost, and the Three of Swords, it's almost like this is going to help you heal. Let's find out a little bit more about this other person. Can we get some insight on the person that Sagittarius is, has, or will be dealing with in the near future? Can we find out more about this person that Sagittarius is, has, or will be dealing with? Two of Wands reverse, the Lovers reverse, Gemini energy, and the Nine of Swords with the Queen of Cups reverse at the bottom of the deck. So I think whoever this is, they're heartbroken. They are making a decision that they are anxious about. Two of Wands reverse, the Lovers reverse. Um, this person could have been someone you already had a separation with because I have parting ways here in the past and they're stressing or if this is someone new um, they recently got out of a relationship or this is not typically something they would do I, I just get that energy of someone that's like um, I would have never done this but because it's Sagittarius I am going to go for it there's a lot of fear here with the Knight of Swords sleepless nights someone could also be feeling guilty remorseful can we get some more um, insight into this person I'm going to just grab one oracle and then we'll take this to the extended and the extended will be mostly about this other person what are their intentions I know deep down that you are my one true love yeah there's serious emotion here uh, you are what I've been searching for all along at the bottom of the deck I think that this is someone that's very interested in you. I still get the sense that some of you are dealing with someone completely new and others are dealing with an ex. You know, take it as it resonates. Um, 